Until there's a vaccine against HIV, doctors are celebrating the next best thing, an injectable drug that can block HIV from replicating in the body. It's called lenacapavir under the brand name Yes2Go. It's all about preventing HIV from getting inside. Dr. Kevin Wang is a primary care physician at Providence Swedish in Seattle. He says what makes lenacapavir exciting is a far fewer doses of medication needed. The injection is given only twice a year. It'll help cut down on needed office visits. It makes it a little bit more convenient so they don't have to take medications every day. He's referring to a medication process called pre-exposure prophylaxis, also known as PrEP. A the current PrEP option is taking a daily pill that stops HIV from copying itself in the body, making it difficult for the virus to enter white blood cells. It doesn't uh, kill the virus or anything, but it just does what it can to, uh, to help prevent infection. While a daily pill option for PrEP will still be available, Dr. Wang says the twice a year injection could be a game changer. This is definitely something new and amazing for patients who may have difficulty accessing healthcare services and getting injections twice a year to help decrease HIV acquisition is huge. Dr. Wang also serves as medical director for Providence Swedish's LGBTQIA plus program, but he emphasizes this latest advancement in HIV care isn't limited to that community. HIV is something which affects every person of all ages, of all, um, you know, doesn't matter about your country of origin, doesn't matter about your language spoken, your ability, status, your LGBT plus identity. Of concern, however, is the potential cost of the newly approved drug. Lenacapavir as a PrEP medication is currently at about $28,000 per person a year, according to a New York Times report. The expectation is insurance will cover the bulk of the cost for patients. Coverage and payment are certainly going to be uh, big considerations. and. Uh, for those with commercial insurance, co-pays may also be quite high, and so we may need to search some additional options, mostly from patient assistance programs with pharmaceutical companies to see if we can make it an affordable option for you. Dr. Wang also acknowledges the drug will take time to become widely available, but for now... If we can get the word out, there's, there are these options to help keep our community safe. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.